This never used to be here. This was just grass. All this atrium, this atrium. This is kind of familiar, Schofield Hall. It's the uh, administration building. Is that a church? Business building over there. Huh. Yeah, they've gone through some changes here. I took a few classes at the Fine Arts Center with various things. Now you got to stop. Well, they've uh, can they've torn down some houses and put like uh, extra large uh, buildings along this road. Wow. Yeah, that's there has been some change for sure since the early 2000. Multicolored houses. <laughs> I mean, some, some has remained the same. This, I don't recall this building. Parking lot is full of dirt. I've been up and down this road. Okay, they still got the sitting statue at this park. Oh, there's somebody over there. They had put garbage cans on top of that statue. The guy's gonna stand right next to it. I slept in these apartments. For a couple of years, I stayed in these apartments. Oh, just one. Still looks the same. Oh yeah, right here, 216. 
Man, I just, I have, I have memories of it and I can't say I really say it was a good idea. There's something going on. It's like some kind of, uh, they're directing traffic. Justice Center, oh, all right. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Some kind of a walking event going on. Uh, I suppose I could just cross. <clears throat> oh yeah, the Mason Center. Yeah, so I'm going to the library, pretty much. Walk your wheels. I guess. Oh man. Yeah, I don't recall this gateway. It says dedicated 2019. 2019. Theater is uh, actually not different. Zorn. This, this should be the business building though, right? Oh, over there, huh. Actually, I really can't quite remember. There has been additions, I can't remember. Oh no, I was gonna take the back stairs, but I hear a lot of thumping. They're practicing on the top hill for sure. <clears throat> Wait a second. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't quite recall what's been changed. They might have put it in a new road. 
because I don't recall Fleisch Family Welcome Center. Didn't this used to be just a little skate shack before? I think this used to be a, a little small gate shack. And now they turned it into a huge building. Wow. It was just some little gate shack a student would sit in every so often. <laughs> wow, okay. This, I think, has always been here. I know there's a trail back here and stairs, but I might run into this, this uh, band that's practicing. Oh yeah, this is familiar. <sighs> yeah, I don't recall it being several stories. The student center is only one, one story. I never, uh, there, no, two stories. They gave it a whole new story. Wow. Okay, here's the the trail. It's mostly quiet around here on a Saturday in the summer, but somehow they got a student band practicing on the the upper hill. I do not recall this shelter here. This is a different, a shelter for the bicycles. <clears throat> and you know, it's, 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 unless you want to pay like 1500 for your which is ridiculous. Excuse me. Wow, that's good exercise. I remember this backside. Boy. Yep. What the heck? Wrestling. You got wrestling going on right now, this time of year. This must be one of those camps. <clears throat> Disc golf. Well, disc golf is new. Yeah. Where's the gum tree? <clears throat> yeah, I've been in all these dorms, just checking them out, visiting people. <laughs> I don't know if I could say that's something to brag about. It's all so familiar. Kind of neat to come when that's not busy. Check it out. Massive towers. And I, I actually slept on the top pretty much one floor down from the very top oh they took they can take out the tennis courts but leave the volleyball courts i'm sure there was a debate it takes a lot of heating kind of take it for granted Look great. All right, it's pretty windy. They're blowing in some rain eventually. Yeah, I checked out what I wanted to look at. Really don't have any other ideas. 
if I could get on my laptop, plug in somewhere, that'd be great, but I don't see that happening today. Looks like the cloth is holding steady. It's been windy. All right, I'm really struggling tonight. I got problems with uh, the hip pain. I can't lay on my left or right side because the hip is hurting a lot. And then laying on my back, <clears throat> try, when I fall asleep, it feels like there's uh, congestion so bad that it startles me awake. <clears throat> and the, in the chest area, there's a, a bad congestion that's forming. <clears throat> I, I think it's kind of an issue with constipation. <laughs> Either way, it's, it's congestion overall. And it's really weird. I don't like the feeling. I don't know what I can do about it exactly. Going for a walk is painful. <laughs> like right now my hip pain is so bad that it just shoots down to the knee and I feel pain in the knee as well it's really changing how I walk I think maybe the sandals uh, the sandals have been shortening up my steps because I have to walk more cautiously so they don't fall off I don't it's hard to say if that led led to the hip problems too. All right, this building looks a little abandoned to me. So I've got my curiosity. So I got some chairs in there. The healing place has moved. So they really got nothing. Well, they do have... They do have, uh, light. Huh. And, uh, camera. Night Owl. Okay. I think I just realized that after watching this falcon bird dive up and down for some reason, the reason there's no vultures, no vultures can survive this area or they don't come into this area. Even in the summertime, I don't see vultures around here in Wisconsin. And so the mis the, uh, the, the insects, the flies, take over the duties of the, what the vultures do, eating the dead carcasses. Because I've never seen so many in, so many flies around a, a roadkill before um, anywhere else. Usually it's the vultures or I guess crows or just the, the carcass-eating birds. You don't see them so much around here as much as you see the carcass covered in flies okay so I just realized I didn't I really don't need to carry the antifreeze that I've been carrying in for years I'm like if I really need to refill that antifreeze container I could put water in there as in a pinch so I've been holding on to the antifreeze container for a long time and now <clears throat> it's out and I free up a little bit more space. It's so weird how it just it takes me so long to realize things that things about things that I don't I don't need. Still still doing okay without a spare tire too. At Hyvee, uh, next to the Memorial High School in Eau Claire, Wisconsin.
All right, I'm in the north part of Walmart, or north part of Eau Claire. I'll sleep at the Lake Halley Walmart tonight, north of Eau Claire. I'm parked here, and uh, I didn't realize there was all these apartments. I'm not too happy about that. But <laughs> next to the Veterans Park, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. So just as I was about to get out, these sprinklers came on. They're visible. And they're hitting the whole side of my car. It's an ambush. And now I gotta think about if I needed to escape out the side, I'm totally blocked. How could I escape? I'm stuck in here. Alright, this uh, grocery store at Woodman's I walk to, it's 24 hours, there's bathrooms, if I need, well the porta potties are kind of bad shape, but uh, whatever I do in a pinch. This area is partly, this is a partly park, and partly apartments, no signs limiting parking. I think I could just park here overnight and have no problems away from the apartments but it's kind of close i kind of get the feeling i won't have anybody harassing me <clears throat> they got a fully automated air for car tires it's not just for uh bicycles <laughs> All entirely free. I've never seen it automated before. And you just... I would be 36. So it automatically goes to 36. Never seen this. Under the bridge. On the trail. This is kind of an affluent area. We're riding under the bridge. They give advice for uh, boating, canoeing, and kayaking. So take your alcohol and drugs separately. Hmm. There's a dam somewhere. <clears throat> they got a neat little area, a little affluent type area in the north part of Eau Claire going into Lake Halley, Chippewa Falls. <sighs> Off of Highway 53. Somebody's like camping or doing something why are there coins on the stones never seen that before so they're talking about these stones and the names people have left more than just coins pennies <laughs> somebody stokes so they're kind of picking and choosing who they throw the, who they put the coins on. And over there too. That's a different approach. So when I pulled into this area, people were doing CrossFits underneath this uh, permanent temporary type of shelter. It's, perma it's permanent, but temporary. They could take it down quickly at any time, but they don't, they just leave it staying up. Probably 
take it down in the winter time at least a seasonal temporary tent more than anything I saw him drop some things on the ground I thought was interesting I guess he's not gonna do it again he dropped those three things on the ground from where he was standing whatever they were wow they got they got the Space Force flag here at the Veterans Memorial what exactly has a space Space Force uh, sacrificed how many people have died for the Space Force that's interesting to me <laughs> So I was shopping at this Woodman's, I don't know if that shows, and I go to purchase uh, a few things and I'm not able to buy with credits. I'm, I'm familiar with that back in Boise, Idaho, so I just I just confirmed with a, a, I don't know, it was a self-checkout, the guy that was watching the self-checkout, so I just confirmed, no credit, and he's like, nope, so I'm like, okay, goodbye, I left the food behind. I swear that the beauty of giving in to uh, sugar addiction with uh, raisins and dates is that they get the immediate problem of gas. Instead of giving in to candies that give the uh, more uh, underhanded problems of diabetes, the uh, raisins and dates, they don't give diabetes, they give just, they just give a lot of gas. And do you really want to have, do you really want to, would you really have, rather have gas or diabetes? All right, that's the thing to ask. So a couple school buses dropped off like 50 kids in Walmart. And they're not tearing the Walmart apart. They're not making, they're not laughing out loud. They're not running up and down the aisles. They're not tearing things up. I heard actually one saying said, oh, "Well, this is two two something, like they're calculating prices in their heads." What kind of people are these? The majority of them are Asian, and then there are some white Europeans mixed in, and that's it. Europe, Asians and Europeans. What's going on? I think they got some kind of a, a science conference or something. And they, they only have, like, from what I noticed, one chaperone, some Asian guy, older Asian guy, who, who, is, uh, who, who they seem to go to. And they're behaving very well. It's quite something. All right, I have no indication that this is the library. <clears throat> There's nothing... I know I'm near it, according to the, both uh, Garmin and Google, but there's just nothing. This lady with her kids is a good sign, but uh, wow, just gotta walk around, see. <laughs> Right under this bridge in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. There's people on boats next to the dam. That's a hydroelectric dam. NSP. <clears throat> That's kind of a nice spot. Bugs aren't really bothering me. Now I have to wonder if gnats were a problem here at one time. You know, just a, a few weeks ago. I hear they're seasonal. 
Yeah, I went to the library and then came back here and I think I'll sleep at the Walmart tonight.